But when you're seeking to understand, the other party has no other recourse but to surrender in the moment. Good morning, good morning, and good morning, and welcome, welcome, welcome to Coffee and Coaching. I am your coach, Coach Michelle Monet, your certified life and relationship coach. And here at Coffee and Coaching, we stimulate conversations to energize relationships. And we do that by answering questions that have been posted to me through email at let's talk at coachmichellemonet.com, over at my website at www.coachmichellemonet.com, on Quora, through DM, through text message, something, right? So we answer those questions and then I bring them over here to share on this platform because I believe, really believe that we are more alike than we are different. So I uh, think that it could be helpful to somebody. So let's move on into today's coffee. Today I am drinking a maple sleigh flavored coffee. It smells really yummy. It reminds me of pancakes. And if I wasn't trying to keep my weight at a certain place, I probably would go have a stack of pancakes. Maybe I'll do that this weekend after I've gotten some walks in over this week, at least 10,000 steps a day. Then I can treat myself to some pancakes and some maple syrup because maple syrup is good, right? So listen, before we move on into today's question, make sure that you are like commenting and sharing, right? I keep telling y'all, share this caring. Go ahead, share. If you're looking at me right now, click the share button and forget about it. Don't worry about it no more. It won't bother you. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to take anything from you, but it could add to someone else's life because this is something that they may be going through that they didn't have an answer for. So let's move on quickly into today's question. So the gentleman said, how can I be more honest with my spouse about my feelings? And this is how I answered him. The first thing you must do is be honest with yourself. Where is the relationship in terms of longevity? If you cannot speak what's on your heart, then there has to also be a lack of trust and esteem issues on your or both parts of the couple. Once you realize what you are dealing with, you can then do the following. Because I highly suggest you seek coaching or therapy for yourself at a minimum and as a couple if they are willing. Not seeking out real help is a disaster waiting to happen. At least working on yourself will have will give you more clarity, confidence, and strength to speak up. Next, you must find the sweet spot. What that means is you need to find times when things are going very well to talk about the tough stuff. Now, people steer away from this because they are attempting to relish in the beauty of the moment where they are actually not arguing or having a conflict. But the thing here is when you are both in a loving mood, you will one, have a different tone when speaking and two, be open to hear each other with love. Therefore, placing you in a better position to be understanding rather than to be understood. Now, when we are in the thick of our own emotions, we tend not to look to understand. Instead, we all we want is, in that moment is to be understood. The problem with this is seeking to be understood takes on a selfish stance and causes others to, others to be defensive in the door. But when you're seeking to understand, the other party has no other recourse but to surrender in the moment. When both people are surrendering to each other, the love shines through and both hearts can be understood simultaneously. Doing this brings harmony, common ground, and open communication. Lastly, know that things take consistent work. And if you can look over your relationship and see that there hasn't been any consistent maintenance within the relationship, you must understand that work is going to be upstream before the ride smooths out. So be patient with the process and pay attention to the details only when they are of utter importance. The term the devil is in the details speaks of the devil for a reason. And that is because the details are not always positive. So be careful and strategic to stick to conversations that are either detrimental to the relationship or helpful in the relationship. I hope that this helps. A lot of times people feel like I got to tell, speak what's on my mind. I got to tell everything. I need to say what the, this is, what this is. And you need to listen to what's happening to me because it's on my mind. A lot of times we need to understand everything does not have to be said. So sometimes what you're saying is not being heard because it's not really necessary. Find out exactly what is really detrimental to your relationship, what's going to be very helpful to your relationship, and then stick with those details and then speak those things. 
Because when you're coming from a place of sincerity and not with a high motive of you need to hear what I'm saying or you going to listen to me or I'm never being heard and things of that sort, then you are easily being heard because your heart comes across instead of your attitude. I hope this helps. Please, again, make sure that you're like, commenting, and sharing. Meet me over at my YouTube page on Friday morning when I drop a new video at 6 a.m. And if you have any questions that you want answered, please email me at let's talk at coachmichellemonet.com. And uh, meet me uh, tomorrow morning. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.